Welcome everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Linux Mint Debian Edition, which is just like uh, Linux Mint, the mainline edition, only that it's running Debian instead of being based off of Ubuntu. So it's based off of Debian testing specifically, and there is a Mate and Cinnamon that you can download the ISO for. Of course, you could always install XFCE or KDE uh, on your own, but you'll have to theme it to look like uh, Linux Mint yourself. So they won't do that for you. Now, the installation process was fairly simple. In the past, I've had problems with it freezing, but I didn't have that problem in this case. Although, uh, because the ISO provided is about uh, seven months old, there was a long series of updates that took a while. I had to force uh, a kernel update. I had to force some package updates. But once I got everything running, I got a pretty um, solid system. I'm a big fan of some of the uh, long-term support releases of um, based off of Ubuntu, but one of the downsides is that Ubuntu only has an LTS release every two years or so. So devices like the Nexus 5 or even my uh, Nexus 7, which is over a year old, don't mount uh, out of the box without having to maybe add some media transfer protocol PD PPAs or something. So I can go in here and I can easily download a file to my desktop that I had on my Nexus 5, no problem. I can't do that in elementary OS because it's based off of 12.04. So I, I would really wish there were more distributions based off of Debian, but it seems that um, still most of the uh, distributions out there are based off of Ubuntu, and now that they have a nine-month cycle, um, things get stale very quickly. So you can see this um, had the codex to play, no problem. Uh, YouTube played as well, and I was able to install Steam without any real problems. Uh, it did require a few packages. It requires 32-bit uh, support, and I'm running a 64-bit system. And uh, it shot up a notice saying I needed these packages. I installed the packages, and it works. So as you can see, I can go in and I could play... Uh, Team Fortress or anything else that is uh, that works with um, Linux, no problem. Let's take a quick look at the packages before I close out today. We've got uh, Banshee, which uh, used to be offered uh, with Linux uh, with Ubuntu. The uh, device driver manager is uh, worth looking at. It logs you in quickly as root and searches for any hardware you might need. So even though I already have the Intel driver that's recommended, if I wanted to, I can go in and add these um, these other drivers. Maybe get better support for something or not. What else do we got here? It came with uh, GIMP 2.8. Transmission, LibreOffice uh, 4.0.3.3 or something like that. Firefox, I'm not sure which version of Firefox, I assume the latest version. And of course, uh, their own uh, software manager, which is nice and snappy, unlike the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. And of course, if you wanted to, you could uh, use Synaptic Package Manager. I didn't, whoa, I didn't place my password incorrectly and it looks like I But as you can see, it's a solid distribution. So if you're looking for an uh, alternative to using a Ubuntu 12.04 based distribution, um, definitely give Linux Mint Debian Edition a try. Granted, there are uh, Ubuntu 13.04 and 13.10 distributions out there, and distributions based off of those that have media transfer protocols for mounting, say, a Nexus device. But at least with a Debian-based distribution, you won't have to update um, the system every six months.
you just go through your standard updates whenever there's new packages available and you've always got a fresh and up-to-date system based off of Debian testing. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.